In the following surgery, I'd like to share with you a very simple trick of performing a surgical laryngectomy in a patient undergoing phacoemulsification without the use of a scissors or a vitrector. This patient, with narrow occludable angles preoperatively, has undergone a successful uneventful phacoemulsification. We now proceed to perform the surgical laryngectomy. The instrumentations required is nothing but an angled 26 number needle and a Sinsky hook. Now here's how it's done. At the outset, I introduce some viscoelastic into the anterior chamber to protect the corneal endothelium from damage. I then proceed to performing the surgical laryngectomy. At the outset, I introduce an angled 26 number needle into the anterior chamber and bring it and hold it steady at the area of the proposed aridectomy close to the pupillary edge. A Sinsky hook is introduced through the opposing side port and comes to lie at that place above the iris at the proposed point of the aridectomy. The 26 number needle is introduced under the iris and above the capsular bag and held steadily there. Whilst holding it steady, it's tipped gently upwards, whilst at the same time, the Sinsky hook rubs on the tip of the needle. This results in the surgical laryngectomy. The opening created is now suitably enlarged by moving the instruments slightly apart. Upon the completion of the surgical laryngectomy, the excessive viscoelastic is washed out of the anterior chamber. You can now clearly see an adequately sized opening created in the peripheral iris. I think the advantage of this technique is that it's simple, safe, easy to perform, hardly requires any instrumentation. You do not need to use a vitrector or any kind of scissors to create an opening in the peripheral iris. The surgery is completed by performing a stromal hydration. And this, as you can see, is the end result.